welcome back to my channel if you're new to it welcome and please subscribe share and like uh, today we're gonna be talking about questions to ask your partner before marriage or even if you're already married you can still have this conversation if you guys never had that well these are financial questions you have to ask your partner before getting married yeah sometimes it can be very very interesting but this is something that we always make we do not have that conversation we're so happy planning putting in a lot of hours planning our wedding and all that and then we forget to put in more hours planning our financial margin okay and well with divorce rate mostly it's not about the person falling out of love with the partner but it's about financial stability yeah we do assume a lot of things and then once we get into it and then you get to know the person that what the actual person is and then what you talk when you were dating because yeah when we are all dating we put in a lot of effort just to come out being stable <laughs> being the one yeah we go above and beyond even lying just to get the um your mrs right or mr right but these are things that we have to come clean with our partner before we tie the knot. Also, yeah, this is not about this is not just for people, single women out there or single men out there. This is also for married people out there that never had this conversation and then they are in. It's never too late. You can always have this conversation. Yeah, so let's get into it. Thank you so much for tuning in and then watching me. I really appreciate all you guys' support. Well, let's get into it. So, number question number one. What you need to ask? What do you earn? What do you own? And what do you owe? These three questions. You need to have that conversation before you tie a knot with anyone. Well, we're about to merge your finances. So you need to know all these. So yeah, what you owe, what you own, and what do you earn. Yeah, like I said, we always assume if someone is spreading us, buying us, all these things, we assume, oh, they have it. That's why they're doing this. But in reality, they might not. They just put it in thousand percent just to impress us. So we need to come clean before we type them up. So these three questions need to be answered by both partners. I'm saying it's not just the man, it's not just the woman. You both need to answer this question. Okay? Question number two. How is money dealt with in your house or in your household when growing up? Yeah. How is money dealt with in your household growing up? Yeah. We are all brought up differently in each household. Yeah. How my parents were spending might not be the same thing. This guy's parent was spending. So you have to ask that question. Because usually, if your, if your parents were struggling, they were in debt and were struggling, growing up, you always have that in mind. I will never be in debt. I will never be in debt. But you never know your partner what was going on in their household. He might be comfortable with being in debt. Well, so you guys need to put that in the table. Agree on that. How you guys are going to be managing your household because you're all from a different background and you all handle money differently. Well, yeah, 
Number three. You have to ask this question. What will be mine? What will be yours? And what will be ours? Yeah. You might get in with someone who already have all their finances stable. Meaning, they got all. They have your house. They have your business, they have this, they have that. Yeah, so you need to have this conversation. Is this business going to be ours? Is this house going to be ours? Or we are now coming together to build what will be ours. That's very, very important to have that conversation with your partner. Well, how much do you want to spend on our cake? Yeah. Well, some goes into relationship planning or to have kids. Others go into a relationship planning to have a family. So, you decide, hey, Mr. So so and so, or Miss So so and so, how much do you think we have to spend on our kids? I know this is going to change depending on the economy. You can set aside maybe 500 for your kids. But when the baby comes, that 500 might not even buy a diaper. But well, at least you have something in place. And then you know 500 at that time is now maybe 1,000. So you already know. So making arrangement for that is a great idea. It's a good start. Well, are your financial goal in an order of priority? So yeah, some wants to save up and buy a house. That's the main goal. Others want to like open their own business. So let you list your financial goals in your order of priority. Your partner also lists the same thing. And then you come to agreement which one you guys are going to try and attain first yeah in order of priority you know come together agree on it yeah i will bet you higher percentage of divorce are from uh, financial instability or financial infidelity yeah it's not about love because why you love your partner. Life is good. So how to manage the house that you guys, you both are going to be in there is the most important, okay? I know a lot of people say love conquers everything, but what do you mean? I've seen people divorcing their partner because they're broke. <laughs> oh, divorcing their partner because they're struggling and they can't keep it together. You love the person, but it's too happy let the person go. So love is not the only thing. You need to get everything together. You guys need to think alike. I will also advise whatever I said right now, you guys answer it. And they print it out and frame it like a constitution and then put it somewhere well you can always amend the constitution if something change you all can come together and they agree upon it and then amend it but you have to put it in writing and then have it frame why because yeah if i tell you this in the next year or two it might not sound the same in your mind well thank you so much for watching me and i hope this helped you prepare for your next level in life and then yeah people that are already married you're not excluded from this video if you never had this conversation it's not too late to do what yeah you tied enough for better for what and you, you you're in this journey forever so if you never made that arrangement you can still make this arrangement at this time and then continue from there. I hope this video helps someone and I hope this video prepares someone for the next the next level.
thank you guys for watching me i love you guys and i'm always happy to like film videos and share ideas subscribe like and share bye beauties and handsome